Um, this right here is the passive tracking system. It actually doesn't use any kind of motors. Uh, what this does is this creates a, um, it's a, it's, it's like a fluid that boils with the sun. And what it does is it, it'll heat or contract depending on its angle with the sun. So it passively tracks uh, the, the sunlight during the day versus an active tracking system, which uses a motor and a gearing system. So this system actually can be more efficient depending on how well you use it. Um, and you, as you can see with this system, it's getting a little bit old and rusty, which is probably why it's been disconnected. Uh, you can see right here when I move it up and down, you can see that it, uh, it can move freely, just like this. And you can see the, the hydraulic uh, movement of the rods right here. Okay, currently we have uh, four solar panels hooked up in the solar park right now. Uh, each panel producing anywhere from 80 to 110 watts. Uh, there's about eight panels on each uh, solar array right here. And then the fourth one is behind that one right over here. And you can see each one can produce about a kilowatt. Okay. Um, there's no, there's no type of solar reflector uh, with this system, so each panel needs to be readjusted with the sun. So you can see they're starting to tilt. Uh, the motors for the, the, uh, the tilting angle aren't configured properly. You can see that the, I still need to work on those just a little bit. This one actually is angled at the proper angle right here. Uh, that one in the back is not. Um, and tilting the solar panels so they move with the sun uh, actually can increase efficiency anywhere from 10 to about 35 percent. Uh, so you can gain a lot of energy, a lot of wattage, if you simply uh, use some sort of motor system to uh, tilt the solar panels. Um, in each panel, uh, I still need to clean them a little bit. They're a little uh, dusty and dirty. Uh, but you can see this is about a 4 kilowatt system. You can easily power a house with, with these panels right here. Um, you can see the grid pattern on each of them, each of the solar cells on each of them. So overall, it's a very efficient system, uh, producing anywhere from a kilowatt to 1.5 um, kilowatts a piece, um, and you multiply that by four, and depending on the inefficiencies in the system, I can get about four kilowatts out of this whole system.